All right. Um, also, uh, I, 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 we had a couple of questions about, and a lot of people asking me about the electric Tesla car. The one Tesla, literally Tesla, said he put an electric motor, uh, induction, 80 horse motor into the front of a car. And uh, that never really resonated really well with me because I, 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 I work in the industry, sawmill and paper mill, and I play with those motors. And I know how much they weigh and how big they are. And especially in that time, uh, which, uh, you know, everything was so heavy, heavily built because, you know, the, the, everything, everybody was afraid everything would explode. So, you know, if we, uh, a thousand pound of iron will do, let's put five thousand pound of iron to be safe on the saw. And of course, you see an, an induction motor is, is more likely a, a big chunk of iron. So uh, I find myself a sawmill who have a uh, 1918 75 horse induction motor. And I don't know about those cars in those days, but they have a really small tire in the front and the frame was not that big. But the motor, I, I will put some picture, I got some picture. The motor literally is beside me on my hip, right? And it's about this long and this big. And it weighed roughly an estimate between 4,800 pounds to 5,200 pounds. Now you shove that in the front of a car. You know, uh, I, I, I just don't understand how people can think, and even Tesla, if Tesla if he would have did that, he would have photo of everything he would have did with his black, his blue black box and stuff like this, and they have three or four little rods he was pushing in and out and that, uh, and he was making a, 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 a brush-free motor running. Now, if he would have tell me, I use a DC motor like they used to have because they had electric motor in those days. The electric uh, car was invented before the uh, the gas automobiles. So I don't know if people know their history. And uh, by the way, North America was not the first one who invented the automobile. It was invented in Europe way before we did. They uh, they use DC motor, uh, brush motor, and batteries, but they were really weak and they were really slow, and uh, they were really short range. And uh, so, uh, uh, and to, to, to tell me a car can do 90 miles an hour in those days uh, and, uh, and with an electric motor uh, with no batteries with an, an, an induction motor as that, not a brush motor, uh, this is kind of really pushing the envelope into a place I don't like to go because I know it's no more branch underneath my feet at that point in time. But if you look at the picture, I did find a, a 1918 motor, and uh, it's a 75 horse. Now it's only 75, not 80 horse. It makes a big difference on the size per horses, uh, because I can show you a, a quarter of a horse motor, uh, 1930, and it's like this big and this long, and it weighs 132 pounds. That's only a, a, I think a third or a quarter of a horse. So uh, at that point in time, I think I called bullshit on that one because there's so many lies put. Matter of fact, I'm kind of working on, on removing uh, Wikipedia of the internet because Wikipedia, far as I'm concerned, is a pile of shit and crap people because it's no, no one controls the information to check if it's right or not on that. They just put it as fact. And we have Wikipedia kid today, they goes in school and learn and use this crap as fact. So don't wonder when you look around when you go into a city, you're looking at a bunch of idiots thinking that's how the world runs because they read it in Wikipedia. So as far as I'm concerned, Wikipedia, you got a 50-50% chance to be a total lie on whatever you read. So take it, take it from there.